In this video, I'm going to show you the partial correlation that I did in order to evaluate the suppressor effect hypothesis in this study where self-esteem was hypothesized to correlate with antisocial behavior, but the expectation theoretically was that people with higher self-esteem would be less likely to engage in antisocial behavior. So the expectation was that the correlation would be negative when in fact the correlation, when you look at it from a zero order perspective, self-esteem, antisocial, the correlation was actually found to be positive, 0 0.20 correlation. However, as stated in the textbook, narcissism was found to correlate positively and quite substantially with both self-esteem and antisocial behavior. It was a very strong positive correlation. And so the researchers wanted to extricate that variance, that basically nuisance variance, narcissism, out of the independent and dependent variable in order to evaluate a more pure estimate of the association between self-esteem and antisocial personality. So in order to do that, you can do a partial correlation, go into Analyze, Correlate, Partial, and put your independent variable and dependent variable in the variables box and the nuisance variable, the variable you want to control for, in the control for box. And then you click OK. And here is that negative correlation, negative 0.248. Now, I'm going to go one step further, and I'm going to do the residualization procedure with these data to see that the correlation really does flip from positive to negative. This is an unusual suppressor effect where you do see the positive to negative. More typically, you'll see a correlation increase in magnitude in the same direction. So this is a little bit unusual. So let's just check it out, looking at a regular scatter plot of the association or based on the original score, self-esteem on the x-axis, antisocial on the y-axis. And we see that there's a positive sloping type of effect in the data. And I'll add the regression line to this. So here we have the scatter plot of the data depicting the association between self esteem and antisocial behavior. Now let's residualize the data and see that correlation flip. So I'm going to go analyze regression linear, and I'm going to residualize the self esteem variable of its effects associated with narcissism. Save, standardized, continue. OK, so that is the self-esteem variable residualized. And I'm going to change that. So self-esteem resid. And then I'm going to get the same thing for the other variable. I want to residualize antisocial, which is the dependent variable. Anti-social resid. And now I'm going to create a scatter plot out of those data. Scatter and put the residual variables. Self-esteem resid on the x-axis. Anti-social on the y-axis. And click OK. And here is now the negative sloping effect in these data. So a totally flipped correlation that went from positive to negative because of the influence of a very large positively correlated nuisance variable, which in this case was narcissism.